some and any. Now we will review some and any. Before we do this, let's quickly review count and non-count nouns. Take a look on your screen. Let's look at these sentences. First, I have an apple. Next example, there isn't a bed in that room. Next sentence, Sarah has a computer in her living room. Alec doesn't have a mirror in his bathroom. So you can see that the nouns apple, bed, computer, and mirror are count nouns. You can count them with numbers. One apple, two apples, three beds, one computer, etc. They can be preceded by an indefinite article, a or an. They have a plural form ending in s, es, or ies. Now, look at these sentences. There is furniture on the truck. Next, Mike needs sugar for his tea. Next sentence, Tony must do his homework in his bedroom. Next example, Alex always puts water in the refrigerator. So what did you notice about these nouns? Well, the nouns furniture, sugar, homework, and water are non-count nouns. They can't be counted with numbers. One homework, no, we don't say that. They can't be preceded by a or an, and there is no plural form. It's just homework, furniture, sugar, and water. Now, let's look at some first. Look at some examples. There are some flowers on the table. Next, there is some rice in the cupboard. Bridget has some blouses in her wardrobe. Next example, we have some perfume in the bathroom. Some is usually used in positive sentences. It can be used in front of count or non-count nouns. With count nouns, it is used in front of plural nouns. Okay, let's look at some examples. We have one chair, one chair. Or plural count nouns, we have some chairs, some chairs. Or for non-count nouns, we have some furniture, some furniture. So with non-count nouns, it means there is a quantity of something. There is an amount of something. Now we're ready to practice count, non-count nouns, and some. Sylvia, are there some CDs in your room? Yes, there are some CDs in my room. The stereo is in the living room. My father's CDs are in the living room. Okay. Alberto, is there some soap in your bathroom? Yes, there is some soap. I have my own soap. All right, thank you. Linda. How much soup is in your refrigerator? Um, there is some soup. We eat soup for dinner all the time. Okay, great answers. Now we should take some time to look and listen. Look and listen. Yasmin has some homework to do at the kitchen table. My father bought some paint for the dining room ceiling. Mother needs some time to make the cake. 
Jill bought some new pillows for the sofa. There are some pans on the stove. Read and repeat. Now let's review any. Take a look at these examples. Ken doesn't have any homework tonight. Next example. There aren't any paintings in my bedroom. Another example. There aren't any good programs on TV tonight. Another example. Michael doesn't have any clean clothes in his wardrobe. So. We notice that we can use any in negative sentences and also questions. Okay, in a negative sentence, any means there is or are none. Okay, so it's used in front of count or non-count nouns. Any can also be used after never. Take a look at these examples. Ken doesn't have any homework tonight. Means the same as Ken has no homework. Different example. There aren't any good programs on TV tonight. This is the same as there are no good programs on TV tonight. Another example, there are never any bottles of water in the refrigerator. Means the same as, there are never bottles of water in the refrigerator. Okay, in question form, any can be used in positive or negative form. Follow these examples. Do you have any books? Yes, I have four books. Don't you have any books? No, I don't have any books. When we use any in a negative form like that, don't you have any books? It's almost like expressing disbelief, but pretty much the same. Okay, now let's practice using any. Sylvia, do you have a rug in your bedroom? No, there aren't any rugs in my bedroom. Okay, Linda, are there any pets at your house? No, there aren't any pets at my house. My father doesn't like cats, my mother doesn't like dogs, and I had a fish last year, I gave it to my cousin. Oh, okay. Thank you, Linda. Alberto, is there any lasagna in your refrigerator? Yes, there is some lasagna in the refrigerator. My mother made it last night. It's very delicious. All right. Thank you, everyone. Now it's time to do some looking and listening. Look and listen. Grandmother doesn't have any time to clean the kitchen. There aren't any plants in my aunt's apartment. Malcolm's friends didn't bring any presents to the party. There isn't any shampoo in the bathroom. 
There is never any cola in the refrigerator. Read and repeat. As, as. Okay, let's practice one more time. Is there any dessert in your refrigerator, Linda? No, there isn't any dessert. My father always eats it. He loves to eat. <laughs> Good answer. Alberto, are there any DVDs at your house? Yes, there are some new DVDs in the living room. My mother likes to watch films at night. It helps her relax. Oh, okay. I like to watch films too. Does she like old films or new films? She likes old films. Ah, okay. Me too. Thank you, Alberto. Sylvia, are there any paintings on the wall of your living room? No, there aren't any paintings on the wall. There are many pictures of my family and there are pictures of my football team. All right. Good job, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.